Oh my gosh. Wow. Solution installed flow sensors onto three coffee keg lines to track coffee consumption at a granular level. Sensor data was processed by two Arduinos and a Raspberry Pi to collect drink events and submit them to the Mongo data store. Our solution required no custom API tier due to the use of Mongo's distributed Atlas service and Stitch services and functions. Finally, our browser-based application visualized the data collected in the Mongo data store and administered the workflow for coffee keg replacement. We cut the lines on our corporate cold brew coffee kegs to install the flow meter sensors. And we leveraged the open source kegbot project to install and run on the Arduinos. Custom Python on the Raspberry Pi processes the flow readings from the serial ports and calculates the fluid ounces which are sent to the post-drink Mongo Stitch webhook. Additionally, we built a Stitch function to detect when a coffee keg is running low, which will send a message to a corporate Slack channel using an incoming webhook. To bring our project full circle, we built a web application to display our data and to allow for some administration of the kegs. Using Stitch removes the need for a traditional backend. We were able to set up a few REST-based webhooks that allow the application to read and write from our collections. The Angular-based web app also has some basic visualizations created through open source libraries. The data for the visualizations is generated using an aggregation pipeline and served up through a Stitch webhook. It's been a great time participating in the MongoDB World Hackathon with my friends here this year. By this time next year, we'll have some additional features for you. Facial recognition to track individual coffee consumption, along with visualizations to track general coffee trends. Guys, it's been great. Cheers. Chen. Cheers. Chen.